Hey guys. So I just wanted to film a short little haul. We went to the pet store today and you know we got some some good stuff for them. I know sometimes especially with you know big dogs like these guys people have a hard time finding good toys for them because they tear them apart and and break them up really quickly you know so we found a couple of good things i want to show you guys so first and foremost this is the harness we got for joe nye has the same one in red and we love it so we got this nice little green one for Dro. It has the reflective, you know, panels on it in case you're walking them at night. So that's pretty cool. Um, got him this harness. Um, the place that we went is called All Pets Club. It's a little pet store that is only in our area. I know it's not everywhere. You know, so if you guys are interested in any of this stuff, what I'll do is I'll leave a link down in the description box if I can find it. You know, I'm going to try to find this stuff online. And I will leave a link for you guys, just in case you're interested. So yeah, this um this harness is really cool. It's really easy to get on and off. It's padded on the inside. It's really comfortable for them. It doesn't dig into their armpits and stuff. And um, you know, like I said, Nymeria has one in red. You know, so we've had it for a while. You guys seen it on her on her in her videos and the other videos, and we love it. So we got one for Dro. We got them these little treats. They are. Really good for them, actually. They're made with real beef. These ones are beef and cheese. Sorry about the little glare. There you go. These ones are beef and cheese. And these are just beef flavor wraps. Made with real beef. You can see the ingredients. They're actually pretty good. Not too bad. Basically a healthier version of those, like, you know, bagging strips and pepperoni things. I think, Dad, babe, did you give them one yet? No. No? Well, I'm going to try them out and see if they like them. Next, this is really cool. And it's actually really inexpensive, too. It's only $9. This is a rope. So on this side, it actually has a handle. And then it has two ropes for them. Um, we thought this was really cool. We always, we have another rope for them that just got torn to shreds. Yeah, it lasted them a good year. And and, yeah, they they always fight over it. So we got them one with two, so that you know, me and Daddy have the handle, and then we can play with both of them at the same time. And they can stop biting each other, like, you know, each each other. Each other like their dad said exactly. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. And then this one we already took it. You know, if you see in the other video, this one is all dirty. We actually already played with them. At the field with this, so they absolutely love it. We had gotten them a tire last year. It was a lot smaller though. One size yeah, it was a size smaller, and it took them about a year. Drill tore it up. Um, the little, you know, pieces that run through the tire were all out and stuff. So we got them a new one. They loved this. They had so much fun with it, and we know that this is gonna last them a long time. It's really well made. You know, you can tell it's a really good tire. It is, you know, soft enough where they can, like, grab onto it. If you guys want to watch the other video, you can see Drogon, you know, really holds onto this. And his dad was swinging him around. It was really, really cool. You know, this is the brand Mammoth Tire Biter. And, um, yeah, pretty neat. This, we got them a little duck. It makes a duck noise, if I can get it to do it. And there it goes. It's a really well-made stuffed animal. It's like this thicker material. So, you know, eventually they're going to tear it apart. But, you know, it won't, you know, won't be like the same day that they tear it apart. We got this to kind of help develop their prey drive. We kind of want them to tear it apart eventually. But, you know, we do want it to last a little while. And it's, it's really well-made. You can tell it's like this, um, I don't know what kind of material that is. But I'm sure you can see. Pretty cool. Now, the next two things I'm gonna show you guys, we're not, we didn't get them today. We actually ordered them online a while ago, but I just wanted you guys to see them because they are really cool. They are 
their special harnesses. They are real leather. You can actually smell it. They're really cool. They have these name plates on them. It has their name. Drogon. Nymeria. They got the spikes. I will put a link to these below. The website is awesome. They have matching leashes that you can get. They have all different types of harnesses. You can get it personalized or not. You know, you can choose not to, to get the plate with their name on it. Um, we got these for them, you know, for special occasions. If we ever take them to, like, you know, parades or the shows. We plan on going to, to some dog shows and pulling shows in the future. And that's what we got these for. They were about $120 a piece, I think. You know, these are going to last... A long time we got them you know a little bigger sizes so that they would last a while nightmare has actually just started fitting her recently and like i said i will link to these below we got this toy to sim so it so it could simulate real real animals this is gonna help you keep keep the dog going after real animals being comfortable with attacking small little animals because they're gonna hunt little animals, squirrels, mice, whatever. I'm going to have them going after that stuff. But for the most part, I'm feeding them this. And we got raw chicken in here. If you have a hard time feeding your dog raw meat, try my trick. I like to give it to them frozen. Kind of reminds them of hard food like bones and stuff. So they eat it with no problem. Because my big dog, Drogon, I got him when he was already five months, so he didn't eat raw meat as a puppy. So it was a hard, I had a hard time getting him to eat it, but she will eat raw meat, soft frozen, however. But my trick with him to get him to eat it is to serve it to him frozen. That's just a trick for anybody in case you want to get your dog raw meat and they're giving you a hard time. Try to give it to him frozen. It worked wonderful for me. And this is how they eat it. Oh, yeah. He's about to feed them. Nice little trick right there. For you guys, if you have a hard time getting them to eat raw meat. But yeah, if you guys have any questions about any of this stuff, go ahead and leave a comment in the description box. Like the video if you like it. Um, like I said, I'm going to try to find links for everything. You know, so if you guys are interested in any of this stuff, you know, you can go ahead and, and get it if you want it. Bye-bye.